see how we are in the overtake. Oh, plenty of power there, no problem at all. Right, so here we are then at Davant's and they're kind enough to let me have a go out on one of their zero electric bikes so I'm keen to uh, try this out and see how it compares to a, a conventional bike. Um, Paul's kindly shown me around the control so I've got a rough idea what the sink can do. Um, so let's have a look at it and see what we got. So from left to right on the controls, obviously there is no clutch lever which is a little bit strange when you first get on the bike because nothing there at all. Um, back brake is still where it should be. So over here we've got your high and low dipped beams. We've got the modes here, so you can see on the screen we flick through on the modes. We've got sport, standard, eco mode and rain mode as you would expect. So here we can see we've got the traction control modes we can change as well. So we've got eco, standard, sport mode. Uh, that's for the workshop and rain. So the bike also has cruise control. Um, believe it or not, this bike also has reverse as well as many other settings you can play with. Very impressive. Okay, so on board the Zero Electric bike, let's give this a go, starting in standard mode. Moving away in silence. <laughs> Very strange. Right. Okay, very strange feeling to uh, get going on this bike. Absolute silence, how bizarre. For a sports bike though, considering I ride a, an upright Tiger 900 every day, um, yeah, it doesn't feel too bad at all. I'm not hunched over too much on this one. First impressions are good. It is very bizarre. No clutch to be had over here. So I'm told in uh, sport mode, this bike really does shift along. Um, but obviously that would deplete the range very quickly. So we're going to try it in standard mode for a little while. And uh, then I'll give it a bit of a, a go on the way back. And see what this sports mode is all about see if it really is as quick. I should probably take this opportunity to say thanks to Davant's Motorcycles. They uh, stock the Zero bikes here. Um, it's a great place to visit actually. You can come along here and have a look at They've got a lot of used bikes and stuff here of all sorts from Harleys to sports bikes. But they also do the, um, the Mutt 125s. They're very cool looking things. Sort of retro scrambler looking bikes. And of course we've got these electric bikes. In standard mode, just the smallest amount of throttle, and it does move along very nicely, although in complete silence. The loudest noise I've got right now is the wind whistling into my helmet. Very strange. I'm told that the bike regenerates its power, its range, when you come off the throttle. So it uses a lot of engine braking and that generates more power 
so that helps keeping you running for longer so I've just left now I've got about 81% and it's saying my range is 112 miles if you're easy on the bike as you can see it's just got up to 113 so if you're easy on the bike obviously that's going to change depending on how you're using it if you're out for a, a good play and you're giving it a good handful then you're going to run out of uh, range fairly quickly as you'd expect there's a nice clear looking dash on it everything you need there without being too overly complicated there's nothing worse than looking at a dash with so many numbers and dials and gadgets you've no idea what's going on you want to be able to quickly glance at it and see the information you need whether you like these electric bikes or not you've got to appreciate the technology I mean, they're amazing things really I mean sure I know there are some problems with the with the idea of the electric bikes particularly with um, range and costs but if you were using this every day if you live on the outside of London or something or you're doing a lot of commuting you can park your, ga your bike in your own garage at home charge it up overnight it's going to be sat there ready and waiting for you the next day very good and of course very limited servicing costs on these bikes um, I'll ask when we get back how often you do need to bring it back for a service but obviously there's no oil to do it's a belt drive so you haven't got to do the chain so yeah very little to do in way of maintenance just put it on charge when you get home again admittedly the back brake it is positive but it takes a bit of effort to push down on actually uh, the, front, the front is very effective perhaps it's designed that way because they want you to use the engine braking on the bike and obviously that's to your benefit if you're doing that because you're going to be generating more power back into the range for the battery of the bike and you're going to go further everybody complaining about the cost of electricity these days I don't know how much it works out now in order to fully charge this I'm sure somebody will know on the internet if you know drop it in the comments let us know I'll be interested to hear from anybody who's uh, riding one of these on the daily and let us know what the pros and cons are but it's definitely in your interest to ride this gently I'm guessing and especially if you're using it for commuting the salesman earlier told us that there's a guy who was getting quite considerable mileage out of his he says he's got it, all the settings dialed in for how he likes to ride it he's using the regen braking and he's getting some decent miles out of his so as a city commuter this bike probably works very well you've definitely got the power to uh, get between the cars and move away at traffic lights no problem there at all I don't know if there's the option to put some panniers on these bikes so that'll be very useful I don't know how much touring you would uh, do on one of these although apparently there's an app now with a map for all the charging stations now having said that I remember watching teapot one's video going around the UK on an electric motorcycle and that didn't appear to go very well I know he came across numerous problems but I think these things on the you know the infrastructure side of these things will probably improve considerably over the next few years we hope but if you're using this to do short distances every day where you're able to charge at home or even if you were charging at work get a free charge while you're in the office great but if you're not having to wait around charging it that's not too bad I'm told that this will go from 20% to 80% at the charge stations at service stations and stuff in about an hour so you know it's only time for you to have a coffee most of us want a break every 100 miles or so anyway not using the brakes very often on this bike it is true that you roll off on the throttle and this thing comes to a, a nice gentle slow stop 
just stop the front brake just as you want to stop completely hopefully we'll uh, get an opportunity to try it out a little bit more oomph and some twisties shortly Let's see how we are on the overtake oh plenty of power there no problem at all no issues there at all and that's standard mode that did move off very quickly very impressive this is a road in Devon known as the Sheldon Twisties really nice twisty road um, goes between Torquay and um, Timmouth a small place in the middle called Sheldon some nice tight corners along here, it runs along the coast road nine times out of ten and you'll get a situation like this, somebody ruining your fun hopefully we get an opportunity to get by him in a minute ah, good van Strange feeling moving on to 60 mile an hour or so, and the only thing that happens is louder wind noise. But it does move on very quickly. I wonder what the torque figures are on this bike. I'll um look up the stats and put it all on the screen for you no real issues for comfort at the minute pretty much sat upright no problem there very strange just going for the uh, clutch stand to come down the gears I don't know if this is stating the obvious, but obviously the electric bikes are automatic. There is no gears to worry about. So it's just like riding a moped, except that your back brake is still on your foot, as it is on a proper bike. Certainly having a lot of fun on this uh, zero electric bike. Once again, thanks to Davins for letting me take it out. Really enjoying it. It's a completely different experience to riding the uh, combustion engine bike, of course. Maybe this is the way it's going. Maybe this is the future. We don't know, do we? One thing's for sure, I don't think that taking away the petrol engine, other than losing the noise, which is of course a big part of riding a motorcycle, I think most of us will agree, but it's not going to take away the fun if we have to go over to electric only bikes. But there's definitely plenty of power on this thing, if nothing else. And I am still in standard mode. So I'm just going to pull in here, 
change the setting. I'm not sure you can change the power settings on the fly, so I'm gonna have a go at that in a minute. Don't put this thing into sport mode. Eco, rain, work, sport, select. Uh, I think the dial's changed now. I've got a flashy torque bar coming across when I uh, open the throttle. Have a look at the uh, bottom of the dash here now. And then the regen comes up when I throttle off. The reality is, for everyday riding, you're probably not going to use the sport mode very often because the seconds, literally the seconds you've turned the throttle, you're exceeding the speed limit. And if you're in the city, there's cameras everywhere these days, so perhaps you get to try it out on weekends and you get out into the uh, on the A roads and the twisties. Okay, so joining the dual carriage right now. We're lucky we'll get a, an opportunity to try it out. mile an hour average speed limit for a little while so oh, we do have cruise control here by the looks of it so let's try that out tap cruise control no, no idea how we use that huh yeah there we go so 49 miles an hour cruise control very good Kill the cruise control, they're tapping the brakes. This bike's so quiet, I can hear this guy's radio in the van next to me. Yeah, the fella's on the phone, I think. So we've got the sports mode on again now. We've got an opportunity to try it out as we go up into the nationals again. See how well this thing moves along then. Nearly time now to return the bike back to Davant's Motorcycles in Torquay. They're the dealers in uh, Devon for these zero electric bikes. Oh, I've enjoyed my hour or so on this bike. Hopefully I've uh, given you a bit of an insight to what it's like riding one of these. 
be considering buying one. We're just curious to see how the technology is moving along. But definitely let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Whether you own one, would you consider owning one? Does the price tag put you off for of these bikes? Or is it worthwhile being that you're able to charge it yourself at home and you've got no real maintenance costs, no oil change and that sort of thing? Yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. So on the channel we'll be showing you hopefully a good range of different types of bikes and we'll do lots of different test rides and reviews and things as well as touring and we're going to show you a lot of places around Devon as well so if you haven't subscribed already click the subscribe button hit that notification bell and you get to see what we're up to so here we are now arriving back at Davant's motorcycles in Torquay Hope oh, you've enjoyed this little ride along on the uh, zero electric bike. See you next time.